This is Jim with Evolution Power Sports, and we're here today to demonstrate how <clears throat> Map Tuner X works. Uh, this is for, well, it works for uh, Can Am, Polaris, and Yamaha uh, vehicles, including the Articat Thundercat. Um, so, just want to show you how it works. So, basically, what we do is uh, with, the, with the Yamaha and Articat, we do have to remove the ECU from the vehicle. With Polaris and BRP vehicles, we do not. We can flash the diagnostic port, but on the Yamahas, we do have to remove the ECU. It's very easy on the on the Sidewinder. It's just located on the firewall, um, basically with a rubber strap. So what we do is we connect um, the cables, the supply cables, uh, to the ECU like this. Make sure they're locked in place. Um, and then we take the other end of the Map Tuner X cable and we plug it into to Map Tuner. Okay, so the startup screen will come up. Okay, and then what you'll do is you'll select programming. So right now it's reading the ECU. Um, so let's just say, so for now we're going to program in uh, V5. So we click next. And then you click download. Click yes. Okay, right now it'll go through uh, check some calculation and then uh, start programming. Programming takes about maybe a minute once it starts. So it's calculating the checksum. Preparing. So now it's writing the program. The nice thing about this is you can return back to stock at any time. Um, and also, uh, live data logging will be added uh, to Yamaha very soon. Uh, we're just in the testing phases of it right now, but we can display uh, a lot of different ECU parameters, uh, boost, uh, intake temp, uh, etc. It'll be very useful for, uh, for just tuning or just monitoring if you're interested. Um, and um, we have more features that are going to be coming soon. But the other cool thing is that with Map Tuner X, let's just say you have a snowmobile, a Yamaha snowmobile, and a Can Am side by side or a Polaris side by side, you can use the same Map Tuner to program all three vehicles. Now you have to purchase programming for all three, uh, but the same device will work on, on all of them. So more vehicles are being added all the time. Okay, so now the programming is complete, so we click Next, uh, which means we're done. We unplug the ECU from the, unplug the cables from the ECU, put it back in and start it.